Hello everybody, this is Teacher Pratt here. I'm coming to you with a situation that happened to me the other day. I uh, went to the dentist and um, they literally are putting in the crown in this area right here. And after walking out of the office, uh, paying about temporary fell out you know how that makes me feel makes me feel terrible but anyway I called the office and they said that they would put it in but that they could not take me at the time but to go to the drugstore and get poly grip <laughs> okay I know I'm getting old but hello this is not exciting I mean, but it was a good tip, and I just wanted to share with you guys um, how this is supposed to hold that tooth in there till I see the dentist, which, by the way, I do have an appointment for Wednesday. So I'm going to try this <laughs> while I'm on camera. I don't know if this is going to work, but this is the tooth. I don't know if you can see it. It's the temporary of it. And I'm going to put a dab of this stuff in here. I don't even know what this tastes like. Ugh. God only knows. But my question is, if this is supposed to be really strong glue, <laughs> um, um, what happens to the ac excess? Guck, you know what happens to it? So I don't even know if I'm gonna get this in right on the first time. So let me see if I can feel it. Uh goes right there. And I'm assuming this side is the one that faces out. I don't know. To tell you the truth, I don't know, but here we go. Um, it feels a little gritty, like a little bit like sand in there. What does it smell like? It smells like, kind of smells like bubble gum. All right, here we go. That's it. taste anything I'm just crushing it in there and I think I got it let <laughs> me get some tissues here but anyway this this comes to a question though you know 
How about you brick and mortar teachers out there? When do you get a chance to go to the dentist? I mean, you work, you go and work. I mean, I remember the six years of my teaching at a brick and mortar school. You go and work at like seven in the morning. You don't get out till four. I mean, and that is if you didn't have meetings or if you had a tutor or something else. You know, sometimes you don't even get home till six or seven. And by then, the the dental offices are closed. So when do you have time to go to the dentist as a teacher? I know for myself, being a contracted teacher, that's not a problem. But, you know, I know there's a lot of you out there that, you know, you, I guess you have to make, make an appointment and, and schedule around it and, I know for a fact that I would dread having to leave leave a um, a lesson plan for the substitute because it was so much more work trying to come up with the lesson plan for the students while you were gone that day. And I know a lot of you know what I'm talking about. You teachers know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I think this was successful. <laughs> So, hello! Does this make a great polygrip advertisement or what? But anyway, if you need to put something to hold on temporarily till you get back to the dentist, now you know what to buy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Happy teaching.